So welcome along. For those that haven't met me before, my name is Paula Rudiger and I'm a health and wellness mentor. Um, as I've mentioned in the past, before we get started, please, please feel free to share me out to your friends and family. Share me live on your page. Say hi, hit like, all of those sorts of things will help me be able to come and do these lives for you each week and give you tips and tricks around your health and wellness. But I do need to be out there. So please, if you can, share me into your groups or anywhere that you feel um, they might be able to get some benefit from the things that we're going to be doing. So tonight we're actually going to be cooking stuffed capsicums. Um, and it's a healthier version of a stuffed capsicum. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm ready to go. Are you guys ready to go? I hope you're ready to get started. Say yes if you're ready to go. Or maybe. <laughs> Alrighty, let's make a start. So once again, for those that have not met me before, my name is Paula Rudiger and I'm a health and wellness mentor. One of the things I really like to do is help everyday people uh, go through a 30 day gut, uh, gut detox program. Um, but at the end of it, one of the side effects there is actually uh, weight loss. So as part of the plan that we do, um, we do do a non-carb, low sugar, uh, style of thing so keto but not quite not with all the the fatty bits and pieces in it so we try and do a little bit more of a healthier style uh, we call it healthy living or living clean um, and that's basically what we do so what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to show you uh, a healthy way to have stuffed capsicum so traditionally in the past stuffed capsicum you would put uh, rice or couscous uh, with your mints and things like that just to, to basically bulk it out. So we don't need to bulk it out because we're gonna be doing uh, Live Clean. So when we do Live Clean, it does mean that, you know, that we are looking after ourselves and making sure that we stay healthy. So I always use red capsicums, but you can use uh, the green ones as well because they do also um, offer the same value, but your red one is actually higher in carbs. So it's actually something to be mindful of. If you're going to have red capsicum, you need to be mindful of the fact that it is actually higher in carbs than your green one um, and things like that. So I use the red, I like the red. I think it's got a sweeter taste, which is one of the reasons why I use it because it gives me um, a nice sweet crunch. And you know, when we're doing a no sugar um, meal plan, you don't obviously get a lot of sweet in there. So we get that from our fruit and from our vegetables only. So yeah, so we start off with our red capsicum. So what I basically recommend to do is to look at the size of the container because this is going to go in the oven at the end. So you need to make sure that you cut off enough that it's going to fit into your oven. So today we're going to use um, just a shallow tray so we can put uh, a lot in here. This would normally hold four, so that's enough for a full meal. Um, and that's about the size, about the height that it ends up being so that it can actually fit in my air fryer. So this container here doesn't go in my air fryer. My air fryer container um, has the finished product in there for you to see. So, but in the meantime, that's basically what we would do. So I measure the height uh, of my air fryer. So I only have a round Phillips one, um, so it's a bit shallower. So that's what we do there. So that's the first step is to basically cut your capsicum to the right height. So we need to make it equal out here. And with the Live Clean lifestyle, we don't waste. Um, so one of the things that I always recommend doing, and this is basically where our crunchy salad came from, is that when you are making your, your capsicums and things like that, we don't throw, oh, and I pull all the pits and bits and pieces out because we want to have room, you know, for your meat and things to go in there, don't we? We want to have, you know, we're, well, I'm a herbivore. I don't know about everybody else, but I am. Or omnivore as it's called, the correct term. So I take out everything from the inside, make it nice and clean because we're going to fill that full of food. Okay, and so there they go onto my little tray ready to go into the oven. Now the really important thing here too is to try and make sure that you get a girl one. So there's a girls and boys and the boy one only has the three bumps on the bottom and you want the one that has the four bumps on the bottom because they sit, they sit better on their own. That one didn't sit because it's got uneven bumps. 
So they sit better on their own, which means you don't have to have uh, a full tray to be able to do that, okay? So you can actually just have one or two like we're doing here today. So you can see that, can't you? Okay, cool. Awesome. So everything that's left over doesn't go to waste. You obviously take the pips out because we can't eat those. And then what I do is I cut them. This one I prepared earlier. So that's the top off the one that was already cut. So I just cut that down and then that ends up in our amazing crunchy salad that we always use to do pretty much everything. So, and then it all goes in there. So nothing ever goes to waste. I'm just gonna get rid of this, which will not go to waste. And I'm off screen. All right, back again. Okay, so what we then basically do, basically what I keep saying basically, I'm sorry, what we then do is we need to actually stuff our capsicums. So what I do is whatever I've had through the week, so whatever is out there, um, today in our fridge we've got chili con carne, um, which is hubby's lunch, and also a curry um, mince here as well, which are both his lunch. But the good point is, is that he gets to take this for lunch now. So he gets to have something a little bit different to what he would normally take for lunch, because this is something we would normally have for dinner, okay? Um, I do recommend putting in a cold uh, mince and then cooking it from cold because it will cook through properly and then your capsicum doesn't go too soggy because um, I don't like soggy capsicum but if you do like that then then obviously do it with a warm mince. Um, the other thing that we tend to do a lot is we will actually put our crunchy salad into the mince just to sort of beef it up a little bit um, and make it a bit more uh, nutritional for us. Um, but not too much because that's already got a lot of red capsicum in it and we were saying about trying to keep the red capsicums down. Okay. Um, and I always use just a dessert spoon to do this because if you try and stuff it with a bigger spoon that you might have been cooking your mince with, um, I find it just gets really messy and all over the place. And that's another advantage of being able to do it um, with the cold meat because the cold meat doesn't um, get all greasy and runny everywhere and things like that. So. Yeah, so all you basically need to do, let's just break that up a bit because it is cold, this is out of the fridge. Break that up a bit and then I stick it in and I do push it into the corners because you want to make sure you're getting as much in here as you possibly can. Um, once again, just use your leftovers. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, new meat and stuff like that. If you want to do it that way, you can. I'm not saying don't do it that way. I'm just saying if you've got leftovers, why not do it that way? And then that way it's just something a little bit different so you're not eating the same thing every day. One of the biggest things with weight loss is um, being prepared, like doing your prep work and stuff like that. So if you prepare your meals in advance, you will already have stuff like this sitting in your fridge. So it's really simple to go and get it and to do something a little bit different. Okay, um, and then I'm going to do a chili con carne one as well so we can have something different. Um, and, you know, these are just straight up normal um, normal recipes, there's nothing in here that, that's just got curry in it, chili con carne's just got chili in it, and Italian herbs, and just all the normal stuff that you would use to make it. So you don't have to go out of your way to spend, you know, heaps of money to go and buy these ingredients. Just put whatever you want. But the thing is here is that we're not using um, rice or couscous or things like that because, you know, we don't. Um, because we're, not allowed, we're not, not allowed to have them, but it's not part of what we eat. Um, there are beans and bits and pieces in here, there are onion in here, so it's just whatever you like. As I said, if we go from my crunchy salad that we add in, that's got capsicum, snow peas, cucumber, um, and beans in it. So we put all that through our mince a lot of the times too. So that's, that's uh, one of our staples, I know I talk about that one a lot. But that's all you need to do. You're just basically filling up your capsicums, and then you all you need to do is pop those in your oven or your air fryer for about 15 minutes, and that's all. That's actually cooked up and that's ready to go. Um, as I said, we have a bit of a salad with that when we have this, so we're getting that little bit extra. And when they come out, these are the cooked ones. I'm not gonna be able to lift that out. They are amazing, as you can see, they're very yummy. Um, the capsicum shrinks down, okay? So you get the nice little wrinklies and that sort of stuff. And I don't like it too mushy, so that's why we do it at that point there, okay? So really, really simple. So one of the things that I'm very quickly going to talk to you about with all of this is that it all comes down, yum, comes down to your choices. 
anything you do comes down to your choices with what you are eating. So it's easy for me to stand here and say, you know, don't have rice, don't have couscous, don't have sugar. But is that what you want to do? Okay, this is, this is how we eat. You eat how you want to eat. All I'm saying is that to have a healthy gut, which is what I do, so I'm a, a, a mentor that concentrates on gut health. If you want to have a healthy gut, then you need to look after it. So you need to stop eating as many carbs. You can still have carbs. There's carbs in the food that are in, in my crunchy salad. It's just the amount of carbs that you're eating. So it's a case of how much are you going to have. If you can wind back what you're having, and you don't have to cut it out completely, just wind it back. You will find that you're a lot more comfortable in yourself, that you will actually start to lose weight. If you can knock off things like soft drink, and I know a lot of people can't do that, but if you can knock off your soft drinks, if you can knock off iced coffees, if you can knock off, um, even a lot of the energy drinks are so full in sugar. If you can knock that sort of stuff off, then you will automatically start to lose weight without having to do anything else, anything else. So what I do, our plan that we have uh, does have nutrition that's attached to it that does help repair your gut um, and things like that. But I'm just saying to you, have a healthy lifestyle. Change what you're doing. There's always a why. Why do you want to lose weight? What is the reason you want to lose weight? You need to have a passion to lose weight. Because if you're doing it, uh, going, to a, to, going to a reunion, you know, and that's not a reason to want to lose weight, okay? It always comes down, there's something in your life that will trigger you to want to lose weight. One of the things with me um, was basically around not having the mobility. My mum has really bad mobility and every time I see her, um, and she lives in Queensland, so she's away from me, but every time I see her, I get so concerned that I'm going to end up like that. And I don't want that to happen. So that was the kicker for me, was to get my butt off the couch and to start losing weight. So it depends on what you want is. What you, you have to have that want and that desire to lose weight at all. If you don't have it, you're not going to stick to it. You're not going to be accountable. You're not going to uh, be able to focus on what you need to do and make the commitment to give up those foods for the period that you're going to be losing weight. With ours, it's only a 30-day program at a time, and then you have time off, and then you can come back and do it again. But it's only 30 days. Do you think that you could commit for 30 days to losing weight? Do you think you could give up hot chips and coffee, or iced coffee, you can still have coffee, iced coffee, uh, soft drink, um, bread? Do you think you could give up bread for just 30 days? That's all you need to do to be able to start a decent weight loss journey. It's not that hard when you look at the big picture. All right, what I've done today, I'm gonna do a freebie that I've done before. I'm basically putting back out there this time around my breakfast one, because that to me is one of the most important meals of the day. And that is the one that I think that everybody should get their hands on. So please, please, please head over to my blog and download the breakfast guide because Believe me, you won't regret it. So that's it from me today, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you are watching on a replay, make sure that you still leave your comments and bits and pieces because I will come back and uh, answer any questions that you may have. All right, thank you very much and I'll see you on the other side.